Here we have a Yamaha SY85. I just turned it upside down because uh, we need to take all the screws out of the bottom. Right, all the screws have been removed. Put them in a logical manner. Uh, when you take them out, it's easier to uh, put them back in and take off the back cover. And here's the inside. Now we're going to be going over to the left hand side. I'm going to take out these four screws. Uh, but before that, screw there and a screw there first. Yeah, so we've taken out a screw there and a screw there. Get your disc drive out. Take, carefully take the four screws from the top, or at least the disc drive. And then I'll be carefully taking the ribbon connector out. Right, that's those four screws, and you can see the bottom of the drive here. The problem, main problem with these drives are, is the drive belt gets old and stretches. And I've actually replaced this one with the proper belt, but it still doesn't seem want to seem to play ball. So I'm going to try and swap it out for a different drive. What we have here is a modern drive. Uh, this is a direct drive, so there's no belts. This is a Panasonic drive, which was recommended. And you can see from eBay, I bought an adapter that slots in the back of the new floppy drive. And then the ribbon cable from the old drive should go straight in the back. Now here we go, I'm just holding the disk drive on top for the moment, just to test it. Uh, I've put a blank disc in, you can't see the display, but it says it's formatting, 62%, 75%, I'll see if we can, it formats the disc and then I'll get a, a disc with sounds on and see if we can load. The only thing we might have to do is, oh, what's that? Might have to modify the piece of metal. Bad disc, that's not a good start. Panasonic drive, JU256A198PC. There's either a fault with this drive or it's just not compatible. Pulled an old Sony drive out of a PC, which I think is one of the recommended ones. It's a MPF520M. I formatted a disc and loaded one of the factory discs. So I'll just try and see how it will fit in now. We've had to do a couple of modifications to the uh, metal piece. We've had to cut a slot because of the extra board on the back. So it comes out and drilled a hole to make it easier for the power lead to go in as well. Like that. And it should fit in perfectly now. We've also put a piece of uh, black electrical tape there and on the other side of the slot just to protect the ribbon and make sure the circuit is not near the metal it's not going to touch anyway but just a precaution on the inside need to drive it in that's the Sony one Panasonic didn't seem to work they're just laid in the groove factory and there we have it it's just said completed and yeah there it is groove factory so I'll take the disc out uh, grab a blank disc stick a blank disc in uh, easiest way is to get a menu flick it over to number 10 format press yes disc format are you sure here we go there we go up to 87% now almost there completed amazing 
another formatted disc. SY85 seems to be in back in working order. Cool.